Good day and welcome to the channel. In this short video, we're going to explain how to get the Vivor Level 2 Charger app working. And in our case, we're running the EV-B06 unit. Now, this particular one has a screen on it, and we have a video on how well it works and how we set it up. We'll put a link in the top right-hand corner for you. Uh, so it's the sub-model of US007B. But this video applies to all of the Vivor, or Vevor, however it's pronounced, EVB06. That gets to a good point, by the way. It's completely unsponsored, so we'd really appreciate it if you gave us the big uh, thumbs up, the big like. So, how do you get this to work? Well, according to the manual, this one, and according to TechSport, which I have talked to, you simply scan that little QR code with your phone and download an app called Smart Life. The problem is, no matter what I did, as far as the re remainder of the instructions go, couldn't get it to work. But I'm a computer tech, so I realized that an awful lot of these uh, technologies are just built on standards. So I ended up using an app that I already have called Globe. So let's show you how to get this thing working with that app instead. And just give up on the one from Vibor, Smart Life. Okay, so you can see this is the charger that I have, uh, that I just showed you. And you'll notice they're proudly displaying an app. And uh, when you see the app that, uh, that we're going to load, which is from a different company, the actual interface is identical. And that's because it's using standards. This is not requiring you to actually use the app that Vivor says to use, or Vevor, again, however you pronounce it. Don't want to be disrespectful. And what that means is you lose nothing by using this different app. So first thing you need to do is go to your phone. So we're at our phone and what do you need to do? Well, download the Globe app. So go to your store. In my case, I'm running an Android, so I'm going to go to the Play Store. If you're on an Apple, you would go to the Apple Store and type in Globe Suite. And it's the red icon. I already have it installed, so click Open. Now, in your case, what you're going to get is a prompt saying, hey, you have to have an account. Right, so create an account. Not a big deal. I already have mine signed in. Now, to get this to work, uh, Vivor or Vevor said that what you have to do is go to the unit and press the A key until the app comes up on the screen. Uh, I don't think you need to do that. So right now, my uh, charger is actually charging my car. And so it is not in some special app mode, it is just charging. And let's verify that what I just said works, that you don't have to touch this to get this to sync. So let's go to my home and click plus and click add device. Now there is a catch I'm gonna show you here uh, that would apply regardless of which app you're using. Which is, even though the unit will show up here, you need to make sure that your phone is on 2.4 gigahertz. And what I mean by that is most modern Wi-Fi networks allow you to connect on two different bands. One is a 2.4 gigahertz band and the other is a 5 gigahertz band. 5 gigahertz is the newer one. Unfortunately, Almost none of these smart devices work on the newer band. They have to be on the 2.4 gigahertz band. So if you persist with this and click add, you will eventually get to this, can't find Wi-Fi. So you can try, but it won't work. So what you need to do is change your phone to work on 2.4 gigahertz. So my Commodore network is a five gigahertz network, but I also have a Commodore 2.4 that I set up. So I'm gonna click on that and sign in and now it's connected and I can go back to the Globe Suite app and click add. It prompts for the password. I have already entered it so you can't see it. Bingo, added successfully. Now let's slide this over a bit so you can see the app that they're suggesting, that smart app versus the actual app that we're using which is the Globe Suite. So click done. And doesn't that look familiar? Pretty close, huh? As in exactly the same. And you can see I'm charging away now. It's happy. I can set the time on it. I can tell you what the temperatures are of the unit, uh, how often it's charged, you know, what it's done. Ooh, I could have it do a report. I didn't realize that. Isn't that cool? Ford. Yeah, by the way, that's not me. It's just a picture that they chose. I, I don't know why. Let's go to power. Oh, cool. Oh, this information isn't here because to get this uh, recording to work, I deleted the device. But I believe this will be here normally. So I can turn off the power. And after a bit, I can swipe to the right to turn it back on. And man, that looks just like that app. 
doesn't it? <laughs> okay, look, hey, if you found this video useful, please give us the big thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. It really helps with Google algorithms. Subscribes also always appreciated. And if you have any questions or concerns, you can always get a hold of us directly at www.urtech.ca. That's www.urtech.ca. Or you can leave a question or a comment below. And if we don't get back to you, somebody else will because on YouTube, everybody has an opinion. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.